Okay. Alright, we should be good now, I think. This is just a volume. This game is really loud. Okay. It's going good, homie. I'm on vacation. Uh, I don't have to work this whole weekend. Next four days. So, pretty excited about that. Alright, now I have magic. She has... Oh. I'll let her charge up. Moons, give me strength. Later, Flox. Oh, that's AoE. I forgot that hits everybody. Is it over already? Yeah, Wolf, well, I'm uh, doing a thing called Throwback Thursdays. I've been I've been setting this up for a long time, thinking about it in my head about how I want to do it. Um, and I would love to just actually commit to just only streaming old shit. But, you know, I still have the work stuff I got to do. We got to do reviewing a lot of new games. So I can't, like, make it so it's, like, every day that's what I'm doing. Um, but I figure, like, one day a week... Why not Thursdays? Uh, I'll just hop on stream and just play something old, you know, some old games that I really like from back in the day. Basically anything like PS2, Xbox era and below that. I know everybody thinks retro is different for, you know, for everybody, but. Yo, back up, man. Why are you hitting me so hard? Yeah. I need the loot. I think I could use this switch over here to do something. Ah. Oh. Thank the Lord. Look at that no load times either. Good old fashioned save slots. Look at that chunky GameCube. Oh, dude, I love it. Yeah, I think anything PS2, Xbox, and below is all retro. I think that all counts. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Oh, no. Oh, no, I did not. Uh, let's try the other way first. What's, what's W2? You talking about uh, Warcraft 3? W3? What do you mean? Okay. Yeah, Warcraft 3. It does. But look how good this looks right here, baby. We're talking about the essence of Dreamcast. Woo! But yeah, Warcraft 3 would definitely be considered retro now. You know, it came out around the time that these systems were out. Uh, so I'm just excited about old games. And I think old games still have a an even more relevant place in in the industry now than they did before where people were like kind of thinking oh, we're never going to talk about old games again <sighs> but like a lot of games now are embracing trends and things that old games had already done and in some ways new games haven't done them as well as the old ones did whoa
Wow, this game is brutal, man. A guy got shot in the head in the first, like, two minutes. <laughs> and this guy just sacrificed his most loyal subordinate and threw him off an airship. You know how disgusting that's going to look when it hits the ground? It's going to be a big-ass man getting splattered inside of some cliff. <laughs> Look at these facial reactions. Oof. You aren't worth my effort, but perhaps you'd be likely to meet one of my pets. Antonio. Look at that screen shake. Oh, my favorite. I'm not sure what this creature is supposed to be. Bull, horse, hybrid. Like it has a weird face, like a anteater's face. All right, let's focus up. Uh-oh. Let me advise it a kick up. Moon. Give me strength. Some Sailor Moon shit. Full heal. Get fucked, Antonio. Moons, give me strength. Oh, that did nothing to him. Okay. Touche. Oh no! Counterattack? Definitely not. Oh, they got a header block. Oof. Good counter. Good counter. How'd I miss? Let's try this. Oh, nice critical. Right into the Cutlass Fury. Oh, he gets to go first? Oh, I hope I don't get sun. No chance. Now, what a cool fucking move. Okay, he's up. Uh oh. I don't know if she's gonna take this hit. Not well. She's rock solid, though. He is rock solid. Mm -hmm. Love how the music would like turn with the tide of battle based on your health and how you're doing. And it's that like the music is not really, um, I don't want to say it's not memorable, 
But it's definitely like doesn't stay in your head like the, the Final Fantasy tunes or some other RPGs of the era. But it is really good. It's very very upbeat. We did it! Uh, two levels, man. I think Moonberry is going to get your mana back, if I remember correctly. There's more to you than meets the eye. Yeah, like Transformers, dude. I like how he's right there. All this time talking, we could have just ran up there and stabbed him in the chest. Like, look how long that takes to, to start up. Damn scum! I remember it being really a funny thing, but like the the very simple uh, facial expressions like really added a lot to the game at the mo at the time, like without needing to do like big CG uh, cutscenes and stuff like that. A little girl about what an air pirate is. Just know that uh, we're g good people. Mm-hmm. Blue rogues. That's right, the Blue Rogues and the Black Pirates. I almost forgot about the other pirate faction. Time to explore the ship. We get a guy. You don't got to be on message the whole time. Trying to make sure I'm not missing out any loot.
And yes, even though I did play this game to completion a lot back in the day, I have not played it since Dreamcast. So a lot of it is like going to be just foggy enough. Briggs. Briggs. All right, uh, so I'll eat from here. I don't know if I can get into random battles like in this early phase. I think I, I do. I remember there used to be a lot of secrets hidden around the game, like so much stuff in the world. Uh, depending on like your height too, like oh, if you're fighting high in the clouds, you'll fight like different creatures and stuff than being on the ground. strong. trade. Hey! Yeah, look how cool Vice is, man. What a cool main character. I don't know what's up with those sleeves, but it's actually very similar to what Rex wore in Xenoblade 2, which uh, is pretty awesome. Island thoughts checking me out.
I want to say this island gets attacked. If I remember correctly, but I could be mistaken. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling it right now. You know what dad gets when he's in a hurry. Oh, save point. Still love the fat GameCube. Look at that thing. Trying to remember what I can and cannot. That's right, first person view. So let's see what I can do here. Vice the unimpressive. Moonberries needed. Oh, that's what you use the moonberries for. I was totally wrong then. Well, let's learn her one. Uh, what's her spirit compared to his? Both the same, actually. Okay. Into the tavern we go. Get it to no good. He is just loaded. Wow, she really looks like a uh, cameo. Mabel the Raider. Blushing. Huh? All right, we'll leave the bar. We'll leave the bar. After we see what's in here. Damn it. Uh, 
Ah, uh, there is a chest up there. Okay. I'm gonna have to get up there and grab that. So much fun, man. Having a good time today. I believe these are the shops. If I remember correctly, yes. to give it to her simply because she seems to need it a bit more than he does like her weapons pretty weak so I'm gonna give her and that's about the robe as well all right we'll just we'll just hook her up Micah is now fully equipped. But I don't believe armor and stuff change the actual appearance in this game. I think weapons change, but that's it. Despite it having 3D graphics. Talk to the dad first. Uh oh. Dying is not going to be happy. Dying, the captain of the Blue Rogues. I have a couple of questions, and I want them answered immediately. What country are you from, and why are you traveling alone? I am going to sit quietly and listen. I don't remember there being like a right or wrong choice of the dialogue system to make the uh, audio prompt like that, but like I said, it's been a long time. I am the captain here. Huh? Even though we're pirates, we have a strong sense of honor. I don't know if you heard of this guy named Robin Hood. It's kind of our thing. Thank you so much. Yay! That's three times I've been reminded to call him Captain. Three. And only the first half hour of the game. Look at this office, though. It's a very swanky office. Ah. Thank you, 3D camera. Wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold. How am I supposed to get there, though? Do you have a back door in his office? Oh, Dad, you and the hidden bookshelf technique. That is a snake eater esque ladder right there.
A lot of money. That's enough to buy a weapon. Break it in and drink. They worship the moons, and the moons give us strength. That's how we use our powers. I believe like <coughs> different weapons have different like moon affinities which allow you to use different uh, magics save the game back GameCube life even though I'm playing on an emulator don't need to save it, but... Correctly, we go on top of Lookout Island and then it goes bad for us. Whoa. The inside of that house was rough. Hope we don't have too much more of that as we play through this. <clears throat> Head up to Lookout Island. to go up, up, up. Oh, yeah, they do. We're going up high. World's longest climb. Here we go. Q snake eater theme. Is 
What a thrill. Do, 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 do. Wow, that is a... I'd be terrified to climb a ladder that big. No way, Jose. I knew it! Nothing good. Truth. Now our party will begin to set out. Look at this little slice of life we have in this village. I love it. it feels cozy. It's a shame we never got a sequel for this game. That's right, I forgot about that. I, I totally forgot about that part of the game. Get on the boat and get the hell out of here. It's time to go explore the world. Get some get some leveling up going on. Well, there everyone's Thursday. How's everybody doing out there in the world? Hope everyone's doing well. As we begin to set sail, 
Or Shrine Island. I'm trying to remember if there is a map. I don't believe there was. Oh, so there totally is. Totally is. Right, change the color of my weapons. Of course, I'm gonna rock purple. I mean, keep her on green so she can keep learning magic. They died fast. I can't go that high yet. So many different transitions. But it's all good. Why? Oh no. This is not good. Kip up, kip up. special attacks in this game man like the combination of like obviously the effects but i love the filter that gets put on their voice just feels like right out of like uh just some classic like common rider power ranger type stuff it definitely like their voiceover definitely made it like stick out compared to other rpgs at the time I, I totally didn't think about this. Fear that someone has scribbled onto the stone. Here lies an unknown blue rogue. That's a huge thing I discovered. Totally by accident, by the way. Yeah, I'm definitely not going the right direction. But it's okay. No harm, no foul. I made a discovery. Squad, imagine this game, Legend of Dragoon, and Lunar Series got remasters and came out on the PS5 launch date. Oh man, imagine if Sega just said, fuck it, we're making a Dreamcast 2. How about that? Imagine that happening. Oh, he's running. Run to the store naked and buy it so quick. <laughs> yep. However, I am playing the GameCube version. I do want to let it be known. This is the GameCube version of Skies of Arcadia, but 
Uh, this is the Dreamcast joint. It was made by Sega. This is another one of a, another line of classic games that came out for the Dreamcast, which is why it's my favorite console. Easily, hands down. Nothing uh, impacted me the way the Dreamcast did. It's so good. Like some of my favorite, favorite moments and memories in games, all Dreamcast related. Not good. Touche. Oh, fire's not gonna hurt them much, is it? Roast him. Yeah, didn't do nothing to him. Oh, crap. Mistakes were made, guys. Video PS2, of course. Yeah, so I've been, uh, obviously, as everyone knows, if you don't know, um, I do a lot of reviews for new games. I work for RectifiedGaming.com. I'm always usually trying my best to stay current, uh, playing all the new games, taking little bite-sized samples out of them, reviewing them, things like that. Um, but as time has gone on, and I've gotten a little bit older, I've been thinking about some of my favorite games. And if you go back and if you read a lot of my reviews, you'll notice a trend in my reviews where I always like to speak from the perspective of someone who's been doing it for a long time. Almost every review I talk about what came before. So I've just been thinking a lot about like the kind of games I enjoy playing and what I like about gaming in general. Uh, so I can't like fully commit to being a retro streamer. I can't do it. Not yet. Um, however, uh, I'm going to be doing a throwback Thursdays and every Thursday on this stream and on my YouTube channel I'm going to have some retro content anything PS2, Xbox and below that's what I'll be playing here and we'll just be going through just having fun having a good time hmm Yes, I will be playing, uh, next week I'll be playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare and The Outer Worlds. Because uh, I have to review them both, so I will be playing them for sure. Yeah, I don't know either, but uh, they just hit me up yesterday, and I, I will definitely be reviewing that game, so I don't have any expectations about it. We're just going to go in and, uh, I mean, as blind as possible and check that game out, see how it is. It should be a lot of fun. But yeah, I just want to play some old games, man. Uh, I, I love old games, and uh, I, I'm not... Uh-oh, hold on. We got we got cinematics. <laughs> Look at the size of that hole. I hear that every morning when I wake up until I put some clothes on. Moonstone must have caused that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I just I'm not one of these people who are so devoted to the retro where I, I I'm not gonna blindly slay say like oh man all new games are ass and, and old games are the future I'm not that crazy however 
I do think there's a lot of good in older games that there's definitely some lessons that new games have taken from them, but there's a lot that they haven't. And there's a lot of things old games did. Just smart game design decisions that actually haven't carried forward that much. So I just think it's, it's, it's fun for me to be nostalgic. It's fun to look at it from like, where is gaming at now versus where it was. Um, I just I just love diving into that realm, kind of talking about that and and exploring it, kind of poking at the edges. And you know, just appreciate. Like obviously games have come a long way from this, but this still looks and feels and uh, the pacing is still really solid. Because the only thing that's really universal about games uh, in the 30, 40 years they've been around is that the great ones stay great. Some parts of them may age, some parts of them may not hold up anymore, but the great ones stay great. Time does not diminish a great game. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, the uh, reason why I'm doing Skies of Arcadia is because it is my... I could strongly say my number two favorite game of all time. Ever. Xenogears is my number one. Uh, I'm going to try saving up. Actually, a uh, guard for this turn. Damages and poisons one enemy. Best to use the beginning of long battles. Hope everyone attacks her this turn. Give me strength! Yes, I, I... The reason why I didn't want to start with Xenogears, even though that's my favorite game of all time, is because it's like, uh... It's so strong in my head, like my love for that game. And when I dive back into Xenogears, it's going to be... I want it to be a, a big thing, you know? Like, when I dive back into Xenogears and play that again, it's not going to be a one-day-a-week type of thing. But when I go back and play Xenogears, I'm going to play Xenogears, and that's what I'm going to be playing, and I'm going to focus all my time on it. So it's like, for what I'm doing for right now during the holiday season, I'm not going to go into Xenogears yet. One does not simply dabble with Xenogears. If you play Xenogears, you got to go in. So I, I just want to make sure that when I go back to it, because I love it so much, and uh, I, I just want to commit. I want to commit to it. Also, let's be frank. Older RPGs, especially the PS1 games, if you play them for a little bit, especially a game like Xenogears, and then hop off for a month or two, you might as well start all over. You're going to forget so easily what you're doing, where you're going, you know, the games didn't have, like, a quest guide to make it easier. Also, Cutlass Fury! Let's do it. Moons, give me strength. Cutlass Fury. Oof, one tap. Night night. Adios. Huh. Nice range. Oh, I wanted to get him so bad. Come on, Vice. There you go. Don't lose boss. So yeah, 